Hey everyone, so today I'm actually going to show you guys how to actually create, um, you know, the template for actually heat pressing the stop. So actually someone just sent me um, a photo of their dogs. Like lately I've been doing like a lot of dog socks. So yeah, someone actually sent me two photos of their dogs. So I got to like, you know, crop them, fix them and get ready for them to be printed and ready for me to heat press. So I'm gonna go into a little more detail on how I do that. And you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right to it. <laughs> So yeah, I already had um, them actually email me the image that they wanted. So I already have it uploaded. I'm actually just going to delete um, a project that I was already working on. Um, so that way, um, you know, I can actually uh, show you guys how I'm actually designing the okay. side. So here we are. Okay, now I'm going to go to right here, which is upload I'm gonna upload so I'm gonna upload this is another photo that they sent me like I said I'm pretty good with um, photos uh, well sock photos should I say so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna turn it uh, 90 degrees it, it like gives you an indication on the side you see it says it like on the side or whatever See, this says 90 degrees. So that's good. So now, so now, this is actually might be too big, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate just to see if it fits the page, cause you gotta have two on the page. And it's not, as you can see, it's too big. So I'm gonna delete it, go to delete. And now I'm going to resize. So here it tells you like when you use these arrows, it tells you, see how it says four by eight and then height five by nine. So normally I, normally I go four by seven and five by seven. That's normally like my normal. So now that I'm exactly where I want to be, I'm just going to make a duplicate. I'm going to duplicate that. So, sorry, the, the printer is on. Um, so, it fits. As you can see, it fits. And then also here, remind you guys, I'm in, in, in Canva, okay? So, um, they have a Photoshop. I actually use Photoshop too, but I'm in Canva today because I was already creating, as you guys can see, and it was going to be a little bit faster, easier. So as you can see, they both fit. They're both the same size. So what I do is I normally just fix one picture and I make sure it's the right size and everything, and then I just duplicate it. So that way it's exactly the same. So now that both of these photos are exactly the same size, and I don't need to change the background. They don't want the background or anything changed. They just want, you know, the, the regular picture, which is fine by me, of course. So now that that is done, I am ready to actually download. So I'm gonna go to download. And then you always wanna keep it on PNG. You could do PNG more so. I use PNG more so because I sublimate. I do a lot of sublimation, so I just keep it on PNG. It also gives you suggestions. So yeah, I, um, so for PNG, I usually keep it PNG, uh, but you can always change it. It has all these different ones, you know, JPG, PDF, standard, SVG, of course. So you can always change it to what you want, but I mostly use PNG for what I do because I sublimate. So yeah. So now that that is done, it's on PNG, I can download now. 
So now that I'm downloaded, it shows me right here that it's, it's as you can see, it's trying to download. And then now that it's downloaded, it actually goes here um, to my preview. And then it gives me the option to where I can just print. So I'll go to file, I'll go to print. I'm gonna show you guys the print settings. So right now my Epson EcoTank 2720 is actually running because I'm printing something else. But this is the printer that I will be using. And then the, the paper that I use, you, you should put it in photo matte paper. Um, so I usually print in photo matte paper on sublimation. Um, I will always need two copies if I'm doing one pair of socks. So it's always even because you have to do back and front. And then I change this. I don't know why this goes to the setting, but then I change to US letter. US letter is 8.5 by 11 inches. That's what US letter is. So now I'm going to change and go to media quality. Media quality. Um, this is where I want to, because normally it lands on normal, but I always switch it to best because I want the best colors, the best ink, all of that to pop up on the photo matte paper. As you can see, it's, it's the media type, which is the paper. And then here, this is the most important, layout. Layout, you always want to flip your image. If you do not flip your image, like let me show you. So I'm going to flip it back. You see how I flipped? Now we're gonna flip the image. If you do not flip your image, it will come out backwards on whatever you're heat pressing on. So if you want it to come out the right way, then you need to flip your image. You always supposed to flip your image when you're doing sublimation. It is like key. So now that that is done, layout, we did media quality. I don't need to do anything else with paper, heading or cover page. Print preview is just fine. So now that I have everything how I want it, now I can actually go and press print and then it'll start printing, okay? But since I already printed it out, let me show you guys. It is printed. You see the doggies? Yes. So it's already done. So, yeah. So now I am actually going to be heat pressing this onto a pair of socks. As you can see, it is done. Let me take them off the sleeves. All done. Oh. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Bye.